Welcome, Welcome to, to Town Church, Church worship, worship for everyone. everyone. It's fantastic to be here with you again. We've missed you all a lot. Hope you're all doing okay at home. And that you all have a lovely summer break and especially enjoyed the hot and sunny weather as well. We certainly did. Now today's theme for Worship for Everyone is being thankful. Uh, and so we're going to start our service with the song All Through History, uh, where we remember that God is faithful to us and we can just praise him and say thank you for his faithfulness. Brilliant, right. Let's give it a go. Ready. Okay, sorry we missed after the second chorus, but never mind, we'll do that the next time we do it. Uh, so, town church news we're going to go into a little bit of. There's not a huge amount of news uh, as we're still in the summer break, but the news you need to know for next Sunday, which is the last Sunday of August, is that Worship for Everyone will not be online next week. We're going to be doing a live Worship for Everyone in the Deanery Garden at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. That's the only live service they'll be that day. So uh, do sign up to come and join us, whatever age you are. Uh, sign up with Katie and myself, email us or give us a call. Uh, for 10 o'clock, the Deanery Garden next Sunday. It'll be a half hour service and uh, we won't have any singing, obviously, but we will basically have some fun together and we're gonna think about the theme of words. And we're gonna have some fun as we explore that. We're then going to let you know what we're going to do in September as a church. Uh, Mike and I, the officers, we're thinking about that at the moment and we'll communicate something out either in a newsletter next week or in a separate email at the beginning of the following week. That is the end at the moment of Town Church News. Great. Well, if you'd like to stick on this um, thread, then um, we'll be having our all age activities and we'll be thinking a bit more about what it means to be thankful. Um, but if you'd like to move to a talk by Mike, then there'll be a link either below in the description or above in the description, depending on whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. Well, we've just got back off uh, a break our two-week summer holiday. And there's lots that we can be thankful for from that. But it got me thinking, how often do we actually stop 
to say thank you. How often do we stop to be thankful? At the moment, I think it's quite easy to be grumbling and complaining. Today, when I'm recording this, it's raining outside and our kids have been grumbling and complaining because they can't go out and play because it's raining. If you've been reading the news over the last few weeks, there have been bigger things for people to complain about with the GCSE and A-level results and how people have worked out the grades, which for many people seems unclear or unfair. And there's been grumbling because of that. Because of coronavirus, there are still lots of restrictions in place, aren't there? Maybe you haven't been able to have the holiday you hope to have this summer. Maybe you haven't been able to see family from another country. If you're a family listening to this today, then uh, you've had to do everything together for five months now. And what may have started as an exciting time together, like an adventure doing everything together in the same house, now five weeks into the school holidays, actually, to be honest, is getting a little bit boring. There are tensions and there's arguments and there's complaining because we're spending so much time with the same people. It's easy to grumble and complain, but God asks us to be thankful. Listen to these words from the Bible from the letter of 1 Thessalonians. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do you hear that? Rejoice always, give thanks in all circumstances. We're meant to be thankful people, the Bible says. So I'd just like you to pause the video for a moment and to simply think about the last five weeks of the summer holidays, to think about all the good things that you've done, things that you've enjoyed, places you've been, and to maybe write them down together with those who are in the room with you as you watch this because they're all things that we can say thank you for. So get a piece of paper, get a pen, and just write down all the things that you're really thankful for over the last five weeks of the summer holidays. And then we'll continue in a moment. Well, welcome back. I hope you managed to get a good long list of things there. Uh, some of my list uh, were that we managed to celebrate uh, Jemima's 18th birthday. Uh, one of our daughters here. We took a rib boat uh, of a tour of the North Coast, which is an amazing time as a family. Uh, we managed to see some friends who came over from the UK. We were able to explore beaches and we were able to swim in lots of different bays because of the beautiful weather that there's been uh, in the first half of August. Well, all these good things that we've enjoyed, that you've enjoyed, the Bible tells us are from God. In James 1 verse 17, it says every good action and every perfect gift is from God. And these good gifts come down from the creator of the sun and the moon and the stars, who doesn't change like their shifting shadows. All good gifts are from God, the Bible says. And God is good. And because he's good and he loves to give us good things. And so it's right that we thank God for them, because ultimately they're from him. As a child, if you're listening to this slightly older today, uh, you may resonate with this. We used to sing a simple song that went, God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Very simple words, but very good truths. God is good. Not just in the summer holidays, but every day of our lives. Every day he gives us good things to enjoy. Again, I'm going to ask you just to pause the video and to share, uh, to share together things we have and enjoy every day that are good. Just go through a day, think all the things that you have that you can say thank you for. So pause the video, write them down. See you in a moment. Well, again, some of the things I wrote down were food, Water, having a home, having shoes to wear, having clothes to choose from each day, being healthy and having sea and sand to enjoy. These things are from God too. If we read Acts verse chapter 14, verse 17, it says this. God's proved he's real by showing kindness 
by giving us rain from heaven, like today, crops at the right times, by giving us food and filling our hearts with joy. Well, I think we sometimes take these things for granted, don't we? The things that we enjoy every day, they in a sense just pass us by. Yeah, I've got some balloons here. If I was to write on here, for example, food. We have three meals a day to enjoy. But each one I sit down and it can just pass me by and I can forget to say thank you for it. Here in Jersey, particularly over the winter, we had lots of rain and we're surrounded by water. But some places of the world have very little water. But I drink glasses of water throughout the day and it just passes me by without actually giving thanks for it. I mentioned shoes. Maybe you thought it was a strange thing to put down. But a lot of people in the world don't have shoes to wear. And that can lead to complications when they cut their feet and when they walk on hard ground. Am I grateful when I put a pair of shoes on and walk out the door or does it just pass me by? And I could do it with other things, couldn't I? I could do it with by the fact that I'm healthy. Thank God that I'm healthy, but I just take it for granted and then complain when I get ill. A lot of those things are so normal, they just pass us by. A bit like a balloon just floating by in the sky. We don't even recognise them as gifts from God for which we can say thank you for his goodness. In a sermon I did back in May, I said God wants us to have an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude. In other words, to always be looking for what we can say thank you for. In the words of 1 Thessalonians 5, we thought about at the beginning. Ways that we can rejoice always, giving thanks in all circumstances. I began journaling uh, when we were on holiday, which simply means at the end of a day, sitting down and reflecting on the day that's passed and Asking some simple questions about it. What have I done? What's been good? What's been not so good? Where have I seen God in things? And a specific question I try and ask each night is, what can I be thankful for right now? And then thank God for it. I wonder today or this week, will we be thankful people? Thanking God for his goodness to us. Whether it's being thankful for special things that we'll still be doing because it's summer holidays. Whether it's being thankful for things we take for granted every day. Because they all show that God is a God who is full of love and kindness and goodness and faithfulness. And a God who we can trust with everything. Welcome back from the talk. Now we're going to sing a vintage hymn called How Great Thou Art, which is all about praising God and thanking him for all he's done for us.
saves him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. Indeed, amen. How great God is. Well, we're going to move into a time of prayer where we're going to thank God for all he gives us and all he's done for us. And if you were listening to uh, the talk that I was doing about being thankful, then you'll already have made a list of things that you're really thankful for from the summer holidays so far. And another list of things that you're thankful for from everyday life. And so I'd like you just to take those lists, if you've done them, and to turn them into prayers in your own home. We'll have a, a holding screen here uh, for you simply to say thank you to God for those things from the summer, those things that we have every day. And also to have a, a series of thank yous for, for who God is in all his splendour and his majesty. If you just joined us from listening to the talk from Mike, then why not actually just spontaneously pray, pray prayers of thanks and praise to God? for all the good things he's given us this summer, the things he gives us every day, and for the Lord Jesus, and for all that God is. So over to you for a time of prayer. So we're going to finish our time together with a new song for worship for everyone. Uh, this is a song that we used to sing in the car when we were younger, um, and it's a song of blessing. Uh, and we thought it would be a great one to sing over each other as we go into this new week uh, and remind us of um, how many things God has blessed us with and how we can bless each other.
Well, thank you for joining us today at Worship for Everybody. Please do get in touch with us if you want to have any prayer requests or anything like that at info at townchurch.org.je. Like and share if you found this helpful. And continue talking on the chat with us if you have been already and you're watching this live. And if you'd like to join us in person next week, please remember to book for that. Take care. Bye.